We do have just over 50 days to go until Election Day and the sprint to November 5th. It is on. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are hitting the campaign trail in critical swing states. The race is still very, very tight. ABC's Mary Alice Parks joins us live now from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Mary Alice, good morning. Yeah, Gio, good morning. This is a pretty small town, only about 44,000 people. It's a county where former President Trump won twice. But Harris had a rather large energetic crowd last night with several thousand. She seemed to tailor her pitch. She talked more about being a prosecutor, about specifically going after Mexican cartels, about wanting to create jobs for people that don't have a college degree. All of it seemed to be an attempt to try to chip away at Trump's support here. Vice President Kamala Harris overnight campaigning in central Pennsylvania in a county former President Trump won twice, hoping to chip away at his support. We need a president of the United States who works for all the American people. And that just stops with all the trying to divide us. Like, people are exhausted with that stuff. Anchor Brian Taft from our Philadelphia station, WPVI, sitting down with Harris for her first interview since debating Trump. I think some people have a question, given maybe your current role as vice president of the United States, how different you are from Joe Biden. Well, I'm obviously not Joe Biden. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I offer a new generation of leadership. And so, for example, thinking about developing and, and creating an opportunity economy where it's about investing in areas that really need a lot of work. Out West, campaigning in Las Vegas, Trump doubling down on immigration, saying he will start mass deportations, specifically in Springfield, Ohio. After this week, repeating false claims he made at the debate about Haitian immigrants hurting pets in that town. And I'm angry about illegal Haitian migrants taking over Springfield, Ohio, you see that mess, don't you? Local officials repeatedly saying that Trump's claims are not true, but that they have created chaos and upended life for residents. Students evacuated, the FBI and local law enforcement investigating bomb threats to schools and the town hall. The mayor saying it must stop, that they need help, not hate. They're not helping, they're hurting communities like ours with our words. Our Terry Moran asking the former president the about mayor, the ramifications the mayor, for this town. The mayor of Springfield, Ohio, the police chief, the Republican governor of Ohio have all debunked this story about people eating pets. And now there are bomb threats at schools and kids being evacuated. Why do you still spread no, no. this false story? The real threat is what's happening at our border. Now, you heard the mayor from Springfield, Ohio, there. He said the community has been under strain with this influx of Haitian migrants, but you heard him there saying that they need help, not hate. Now, it was notable that Trump said that he would conduct mass deportations there. We know that most Haitian immigrants living there are there legally with temporary protective status. Whip. All right, Mary Alice Parks for us. Thank you.